people, welcome back to our channel. We do have Vicky Vikina, JD Show, Nemo Arts, and Freddy Kenya. And of course, to have a mommy, Francis. How are you, mommy? How are you doing? Mami, tangu uingia Nairobi luku unapiganga. My friends, hapo kwa luku mwanzo. Uo kiniambia hivyo nasikia kujam na chemuka. Mm -hmm. Because mnanijua. My friend, Nairobi is a struggle. Mm -hmm. Nairobi ni pressure. Yes. And it is getting to me. Talking about Nairobi being pressure. Mm -hmm. Mami, umeka hapa. Nairobi kwa jobe the sofa so good. I'm loving it. Mm. Ha, na I embrace. Mm. Sijui kama hiyo ina ni embrace. Okay. Tutajua mbele mbele. Challenges maybe the nyoko nayo ama ku, the things that you find new in Nairobi that you are not used to back in Mombasa. Luku ni moto. Luku ni kupigia kila siku. Hiyo mm. ni kitumiu kwangu. Mm. And uh, another thing, uh, baridi, mm -hmm. the weather of course. Mm. Yeah. Apart from that, every other challenge is not in the weather too. Mm -hmm. Ibo, yeah. And our money. Oh wow, that's nice. Talking about your new work, uh, being a radio presenter, how is it? Like in Endele Aje, ama kwa Aje? For now, let me just say no comments on the thank God. Maybe you can encourage people in Angalia, they want to be radio presenters in future, nini? Yani, just be you, do you, and um, be focused. Mm. That's all I can tell them. Maybe just to know your background uh, when it came to career was, did you do media back then? Never. Mm -hmm. No, when you know Alpana Shanga, Mami Fancy, maybe Ali Land, Ali Land, AJ, uh, when it came to the radio job. So, me, me God. Me God. Me God, too. Uh, me God. It's only one. Mm hmm. It was just good. Okay, moving on. Uh, um, Baba. How is our Baba back in Mombasa? Ah, he's good. Mm -hmm. Holding on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he planning maybe to come to Nairobi? Maybe. Are you guys planning to move back to Nairobi? Maybe. Ah, yeah, that's between us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not planning to Kuja? We don't know. We don't know if you are planning. We are not planning. We don't know. Planning, we don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, as a content creator, maybe we'd love to know your future when it comes to your brand, Sasa, because right now, how una fans in Basabeke, Nairobi, na kila mahali in the country. Now, what's your future when it comes to Mami Franci as a brand? Hmm. To be a billionaire. That's why I was here. It's a That's my future. That's your future, Pekiake. Here, no future, Mami. Now, I'm billionaire. Po angele sha ki angele kamera waju e. Sorry. Aki pole. Sorry. Ni mesema ichayangu. I want to be a billionaire. Mm -hmm. You want to be a billionaire. Yeah. That is what is keeping you going. Yeah, that is what is pushing me. Mm -hmm. mm, Niki kumuka hizo zeros zenye zinafata. Mm -hmm. I work even harder. Mm -hmm. And talking about here being a content creator, akwazi kosa kwa na haters online when you are not there. How do you uh, manage or how do you cope with these people when you are how to pay the camera in France as a brand? No, I fight them. No occasion at a milele to tap Ghana. No, you are not for grooming me into a matter of money. No, I'm not no, Pinda back. If you give me love, I give love back. Mm. Then a whole lot of love. Mm. If you give me kindness, ah, the kind of kindness I can offer, mm. it's not measurable. And Mami Francis, it's not a couple, so Kuinje, Akina Kabi, I mean, sorry, Akina Diana, Mami Tambia Rusi, Sijini Lini. This is not a couple, Mbaba, and Mami Francis, and Lini Tambi. Seven years from now. Wait, Mbona? Seven years. I'm not for your pressure. I'm on to change it for Leo. Yeah. Rurashi Litosha. Rurashi Litosha, but I'm not seven years. But come on, Munaraka. Mchango ina kubalika, mtengeneze komiti, hmm. mkuje mtuambie uh, komiti ndo hii hapa, mamifanzi tumekumbia gaun, suti ya mbaba ndo hii, hmm. chachi mtaenda ndo hii, hata sasa hivi tunafanya hiyo arusi, at your post. Ni pressure wa suwapati. Ndiyo. Ok, moving on, eh, tungependa kujua mamifanzi ya ngependa ku work with which public figure, maybe mwenye umemona. Um, I cannot mention, but I'm, uh, I'll say this, as long as it's for a good cause, mm. I'm good. Talking about cloud chasing, mwenge hii Nairobi na kuna vipindi mingi. As a brand, mbona auja ingia kwa hiyo, mimi kategori ya watu ambao na cloud chasing, na unda to remain relevant. I'm the cloud itself. Mimi ndo cloud, why should I chase it? So, cloud ina nifata ya. 
apart from being a content creator, no longer TikTok, you are doing business. What motivated you to join that side? Because no longer you are really doing good. Uh, you, are, you are doing well when it comes to the business side. Hey, mama, I am from skin. Ha! Poverty. I come from a very humble background, quite true. Mm. We we know that rich, and I cannot say we were not that poor, poor. But for my situation, yes. Yani, I don't ever wanna see that life ever again. Mm. So I fight it with mm-hmm. all the energy that I have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, that's nice. And also, pale from Tandao, there was some time people are saying, "Hey, mommy, Francy, ni kama me kaliam baba wetu." See me, me in the comment section. Most of them love you, uh-huh. but kuna wale always ko sa tatizo. Okay. So, nasema, ah uh, kama mimi nimekalia mbaba, wewe osha kitimbao kalie wako tufanane as simple as that. Mhm. Any other questions? Yes, about today's event. Yes. What have you learned and what have you enjoyed? Hmm. Ya kwanza I've enjoyed. Don't judge me. Food, but of course, okay? <laughs> food. Mm. And actually, what I've learned the most is mm. contracts are very important. Yes. Second, having a lawyer by your side mm. is very important. Sacrifice. Yes. So, killing the ramba ones. I would tell us killing the ramba ones. Uh, for social media at that time i had no lawyer i had no team nilikuwa tu mimi huyu na push to biashara so mm. after that i went and got myself lawyers and uh, someone to one two people that no match yeah. um kuniliko uh, and then i get, i think i'm at a good space and from what i've heard here yeah you need lawyer a, you need lawyer a lawyer and you need someone to give you direction even though it's not someone when you and a more knowledge but like a third eye kuona nje ya chenye wewe unaona and another thing I've, I've learned is that about finance that's one thing I've learned a lot i cannot mention everything mm. but the best part I've learned respect money and it will respect you back oh wow that's nice okay mommy francis is yes. speaking about respect for the founder of the mommy francis Mommy Francis. Thank you. Let's continue. Okay. Speaking about <laughs> respect, uh-huh. uh, we find out that uh, one of the people who has organized this Zineja yeah. Synergy Point, yes. uh, she walked out of an interview because she was not respected as a brand. Yeah. Maybe what can you say? Uh, same energy applies. The feeling is mutual. This is, if you don't respect me, then you say I'll walk out. Me, me, nikezi kwenda. Apa. So you're telling us you could do the same thing. I would not have walked out, but I would have ningem um, pasha. We different, you know we different. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, she saw it was okay mm. to go. Mm. Mimi ni tapasha tu na tuendele. Oh, but you can say it's good for people to respect each other's yeah, brand. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay to respect each other's brand. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, 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 that's nice. My first is what's keep moving in the industry. Huh. What keeps me moving? Um, my courage, my courage, and uh, another thing, I am me. I am me. That mm. keeps me moving. Because if uh, I did, if I was not myself, mm. by right now, I am not choker. I am energy to be someone I am not. You understand? Yeah. So, but since I am me and the courage that I have, I will move on tomorrow, 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 and tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. They are coming at dusk, dressed, and people are watching me outside there. They are stealing something. Be you, the world will adjust. Just be you, the world you that just. Usiseme oh mimi niko na kelele, hiyo kelele dunia itaitaka at some point. Usiseme oh mimi ni kerere, hiyo kerere yako. At some point dunia itaitaka. Wow. Yeah. Mami Francis, yes. you are among the first TikTokers to start selling things online, yes. right? How does that make you feel now that everyone has followed your trend? <laughs> Met me so marvelous. Mwanzo nikiona wanawake, ee my blood does because I'm like hawakai tena nyumbani wangu je. Hawakai tena kuomba, hawakai tena like um, begging oh I don't have ni na nini but they have taken the initiative. Ameona nimefanya na ameona itamfaidisha. Yes. Hey, that thing makes me happy. Niingie sana nezo usiku nione yeah. mdema anapiga wera. I'm like Oh girl, you do you. Yes. Yeah. And how is the business in TikTok? Is it doing good? I'll say uh, me 
my business has grown so much because of TikTok. Okay. I will not hide that from anyone. Uko na ile kiatu unauza uko anything hata ni kama tissue paper hivi unauza. Post it on TikTok usichoke. Unaona hata mimi leo I have million followers but I still post my business. It will not pick today. But let me tell you the day it will pick. Ah, you will enjoy the fruits. Okay, as a content creator, what yes. can you say about the, the issue we are asking and especially the palette and the jumbo and everything? Do you feel like uh, content creators should be respected? I'm on my What's your take? Okay, so everyone has their own opinion. No, no, me as a content creator, I have my own opinion. Sure. You as a journalist, you have your own opinion. Sure. So, Ukinita, and we have an agreement between me and you. Don't you think it will be bad for you to go against the agreement? that we had made before starting the show. Ningia kwa show yako ni kwambia please don't talk about Mbaba. You go ahead and ask him, ask me about Mbaba. That is, you went against the agreement and that I feel I was not respected at that moment. So it is just natural as a human being, apart from being a content creator, you just feel disrespected if one human does not go, one human goes against what you two people agree on. Yeah. So yeah. as they did the right thing to Yeah, as for her, she did the right thing walking away. Ni mwambi, akaba ni mimi. Tunge wenda tu wapa. Tunge pashana. Unawana kukua different. Kuna yule mwenye atanyamaza. Atanyamaza, aseme, okay, ataipite. Kuna yule kama azia ni atatombea ene. Na kuna mimi, eh, mudomo tu ni mali yangu, nilipewa na mungu. Kuna mtu watumie yake. Uh, maybe Mami, Mami Frankie, yeah. uh, some people think that you use the Mkorogo thing. Maybe what can you tell them? The bleaching Aji. But of course I use. Aji. Not to me Mkorogo. Leo kesho na hata milele because there is no coming back. So maybe yeah, what, once you start Mkorogo till the new part. So maybe what motivated you like uh kupende le skin la kala yako ya kwanza kwa mwani to me mkorogo? No, ikianza, ikianza I wanted something to nilikuwa nafanya kazi sokoni. So I wanted something to um toa ile 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 sunburn and yeah. another thing I have child with marks. Uh, I never had a good child with marks. The back marks. So, uh, not back marks. Okay. And so. Oh, so I wanted to get rid of them, get rid of the you know, try the memories and all that. So in the process uh, of doing that, Mika Haribika. Yes. No, no. Yes. I just wanted a solution, but it went worse. Mm. I got stretch marks and yazidia waisha paka leo kwa migu kwa mikono and it was worse. Mm. So Mbaba found me a Nigerian. Mwenye anatengeneza mafuta, blah, 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 and the rest is history. So when I got to a better point with my skin, people started asking, unapaka nene? Unapaka, oh, I saw a business opportunity, I took it. And say what motivates me to continue doing Korogo, it's money. So people are out here wana pinga hii business ya Mkorogo. Mm. So are you a testimony that indeed Mkorogo works? Mkorogo works if it is used correctly. Just know when your skin needs breath mm. to breathe, just know when you are supposed to continue. Mm. People uh, don't use it correctly. Kuna watu wengine wana overuse. Mm-hmm. Unaweza kutana na msichana kikufanyia hivi, ako na green veins. Kila maana they are white, their skin is thin. Yes. Unaona mimi? Nilisema mm. nataka Mkorogo kama tamu za shule. 3 months I apply I three months in arrest, three months in arudi. Yeah. So I let my skin rejuvenate. Iyo point ndiyo watu wengi hawana. As much as tunakatoza mkorogo, yeah, it's bad when it is overused. I see. Yeah. Maybe what again would you love to change in your body apart from your skin color? Ha, huh, nikisha za mama. Let me tell you. This is this is public announcement. Nikisha za alafu nione uze unaingia. I will go kunyonywa mafuta ya tumbo. My waist will be like yeah. like mm-hmm. second my buttocks I won't do anything. I have some So I won't do that. I will just nyonya there here. Alafu nikimaliza kunyonya, kunyonyesha, I will do the matiti tusimama. More than your 15 kids. Hao watoto ambao utakao umelewa kwa 15 years. Mimi yangu nitasimama more than them. Eh eh. Alafu second if I get old that's why I'm looking for the money right now. My friend who talks. Mimi na Mimi na Jennifer Lopez. Papa. Siezi kubali uze. Wakati you have money na inaweza kusaidia. Ah, Jennifer Lopez mimi. Yeah, for 50. Na nakaa hivyo mimi. You just need you. Ah, 
Okay, okay. that's nice, that's nice. And moving on to Kimalizia, Mami Francie, uh, people don't understand that celebrities like you, Mnanzanga from Chini, Mkipanda Ju. Yeah. Umekuja Nairobi, and I'm seeing uko unashikwa bed sitter. Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, true. How, how is it na mebotu wali kuchukuliaji? What do you mean, how is it? Because, of course, to Najwa Mombasa, mm -hmm. you have a kind of a bigger house, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But right now, umekuja Nairobi, umengia pa nyuma dogo. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just to encourage them, mm -hmm. talk to them. Okay, mfuko yangu si yako, and your expectations ichukue upatie watu wakwenu. Mimi si wakwenu. So, your expectation yako, mamikazi ya pae kuhishi ndani ya bedsita, take it and give it to your people, cheers. Sawa? Once you are done, you are done with that, then Rudi kwa maisha ako jiangalie. As for me, I will live per my means. Mombasa, I have a two-bedroom house. Yeah. Ha yani change abruptly. What makes you think that I have the money to rent another bigger house? What makes you think that? So, I should struggle just because a follower. I need to impress my follower. I'm, I'm not going to struggle because of you, my friend. <laughs> Never on this earth. Nitalala kwa bedsita, nitumia kigas changu, na nikude sima sukuma na siku ipite. So, if you are there outside and you feel the pressure or the need to live um, kwa standard zawatu, you are doing it all wrong and it will cost you someday. He, um, an expensive life it equals to uh, expensive uh, it's not what you're, expensive spending. So, you know, na? so it's expensive. At one time, they will bulk on you. Now, when you get a bulk on you, sisi, sisi fans wako, tutakuja kukucheka wewe. Ah, ameanguka. Instead of taking you back to your life. So, live as per your means. Ishi kwa means ya mpuko wako. Usi ishi kwa means ya mpuko wa fanu wako. Mwenye mwenye anakana mitunke. And full stop. Mepata kusikia hiyo. Is there another question? Guys, that has been it with Mami Francie. Most of you have been able to see her on TikTok. Mami Francie, you come Jenny, doing a good job. And maybe leave them your social media handles for those who don't know. Mami Francie Kila Maali. M-U-M-M-I-E F-R-A-N C-I-E And it's Mami Mami Francie. Mama Francie, pelekea watu wakwenye. Guys, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Till next time, bye-bye.